Hi everyone, I'm Lisa the Librarian and I love to welcome you into the wonderful world of books. Today I'll be reading the story Carl's Fish Farm, an introduction to aquaculture. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Hello there, I'm Carl, and today we will see just how farming started and how it came to be. Aquaculture is great! Let me tell you the story of how we Americans make fishy glory. In China, century 1000 BC, the Zhao Dynasty's carp were sure farmed with great glee. Then a thousand years later, the Romans craved stew, so they farmed lots of oysters to eat in a brew. We, fish siblings, were row in the pond by a bank. A farmer scooped us up and put us in a tank. That hatchery tank warmed us, so we didn't freeze. We could hatch and then grow, swimming just as we please. Well, my yolk sac dissolved in not more than three days. So, they call me a fry. I could swim quite a ways. After that, four weeks later, my fins stretched out wide. As a fingerling then, I had spots down my side. called a juvenile. After six weeks, you can see, I've moved into the pond, just so glad to be me. I can help with restocking because I'm all grown. Now, my kids have been sent to a pond, their new home. Aquaculture is cool. Let me demonstrate how. Fish are quite agricultural, just like a cow. Where to find aquaculture? It's here and it's there. Fish are not just in Georgia, we live everywhere. You can use fish for food, research, and recreation. Aquatic, great species across the whole nation. Billy, a striped bass, is from North Dakota. The food plant he's moving to is in Minnesota. Now Anna, the planktonic algae, so green, creates food, bioplastics, fuels that are clean. Also, Olive, the oyster, was born by the sea. She was served as great seafood, we all would agree. Born in streams of Alaska, the salmon is Chelsea. She takes part in research on keeping fish healthy.
with Tracy the Rainbow Trout restocking the stream, Colorado fly fishing can be such a dream. Sweet Sammy the Sugar Kelp lives out near Maine. He's a sweetener from seaweed for cows that eat grain. See how Gary, a gator, provides food and leather? He's smiling because he loves Florida weather. The twins, Shay and Sean, come from southeastern waters as shrimp, Alabama became their new quarters. It's true that each farm is unique in its way, but equipment from ours gets us through every day. We have baskets that float and some baskets that sink. Also, nets for all purposes. More than you think! Our enormous strong net that we all call a seine will get dragged through the pond with two poles made of cane. Farmers carry a seine reel which keeps the net neat, all controlled by a tractor, a marvelous feat. We have graders that sort many fish of all sizes. It helps out the fish when their stress level rises. When farmers weigh the fish, they use this big scale. With minimized handling, fish's slime coats won't fail. See, the farm ponds for fish are quite different. Here's why. Since they're shaped like a rectangle, same nets get by. Different fish need different waters, such as the sea floating in round cages. They're on a growing spree. Here is our fish truck, which moves fish from here to there. The big tanks full of oxygen bring fish fresh air. You might like aquaculture with catfish like me. So let's talk about jobs. There are many, you'll see. There's a manager, farmer, a farmhand too, which are all fishy jobs you may want to do. Ichthyologists, counselors, and good fish technicians can work anywhere when they fill these positions. Would you want to be the best fish doctor yet? There are farms that could certainly use a fish vet. Hey, is swimming for you? So then choose scuba diving or else you could work doing fish transport driving. Perhaps an instructor or a lake engineer. All of these jobs you can work throughout the year.
Thanks for learning with me, Carl the Catfish, today. I sure hope you like fishing with good things to say. So, now, go spread the word. Aquaculture is fun. Farming fish is important. Show folks how it's done. What a fantastic story. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I'd like to give a very special thanks to the author, K. Michelle Edge. If you enjoyed this story, make sure to have your parent or guardian click the link in the description below so that you can have your very own copy of Carl's Fish Farm an introduction to aquaculture. Also have them to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.